Hi guys! So you've seen my version of Tanya Munn's technique a couple of times, including this hunting hummingbird that I just did in my last video. You should check that out if you haven't. And you've seen Tanya's work either in one of our auctions, she's a mixed media artist, or right here on my channel. I've showed her work a couple of times. But what you haven't seen is a collaboration between the two of us and that's what we're doing today. So I'm really, 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 really excited to share this collaboration with you guys. We're gonna use my balloon roll paintings, a painting and Tanya's glue gun technique together. So I can't wait to show you. But first, live painting coming this fall. You know who gets to be involved in live painting is members only, Sunday Lives on YouTube. That's right, members. So join my channel for some perks, exclusive perks, live painting, exclusive content, uh, giveaways, private coaching. Did you know sneak peeks as well. The members were the first ones to be able to see this collaboration results today. And so you should become a member and I would see you soon. It's really actually easy. First you subscribe and then there's a join button underneath each video. And all you do is click join and you're taken to the membership uh, portion and you can join the channel. Inspired VIP Ultimate just for the price of a cup of coffee or a platinum inspired member where you could have one-on-one -on -one, uh, time each month with me. We could paint together, we can do a video chat, we can talk about the business of art. So I look forward to seeing you then. Okay, so this is such a cool collab. That's just a, We start out with a 16 inch round canvas and it's just sitting on my uh, tabletop spinner there. And the link to the supplies and colors is listed in the description box if you're interested. But I did use a lot of warm colors and um, I really wasn't sure where I was going with this painting, but I didn't actually intend it to be the collab. I was just kind of playing around with some ideas I had about incorporating warm and cool colors together without getting mud. So that was really the focus of this painting. You see I just did a, a little straight pour and then a ring pour there at the end. And now I'm just playing around with the center and getting some interesting little patterns there. But this part actually ended up being magical. And that's my nickel azel gold and Indian yellow I put in a ring around there. So you'll see later why that was so special and it's a technique I've used in a lot of my videos. If you haven't checked my older works, um, my older paint pouring videos, you should really check those out. So I use this technique a lot and people often ask, why do you add the paint uh, in separate layers like that? Well, what happens is, you know, some uh, people call it a flow extender, but when you do my balloon rolls specifically, something really magical happens when you put those solid colors around the outside where you intend to do your balloon rolls. Now this top layer kind of flows over the top of those colors on the outside and then you'll see what happens when I do those balloon rolls. So I just added another straight pour and you know at this point I'm uh, intrigued <laughs> but I just wanted to keep playing around with this you know I'm forever playing in my paint it's just something I love to do. Uh, that's a piece of plastic. It's probably my favorite swiping tool and that plastic just came from in between the canvases when you buy a big pack of canvases at Michael's. It's probably one of my favorites. Now here you go. You're gonna see why that's so special. Do you see what I see? Yes. That golden Indian yellow popping through underneath the green. And then I start with my balloon rolls. So that's one of the cool parts about putting those colors around the outside is when you do the balloon rolls, you're literally taking off a top layer of paint and revealing the paint that's underneath. And so then I just did a bunch of beautiful balloon rolls. I have tons of videos on my balloon rolls if you're interested. I have a whole playlist balloon roll paintings. And 
And then when I thought it was good enough, I asked Tanya if she liked it and would she like to collaborate with me to celebrate the upcoming auction? And she said yes. So I packed it up and I did my little special packing up technique that I do where um, I seal it with some sealing wax and stamp it with my Heather Mater art stamp. And then I sent it all the way across the United States from Portland to Michigan to Tanya. The painting that Heather did that I'm gonna do my thing on. Sorry about my hands, I just got done painting. I'm really excited. Oh my God. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Now it's my turn. This is what I'm going to be doing for the canvas that Heather sent me. Um, this is just a print that I got offline. It's an image of a macaw from a coloring book site. Um, so let me see if I can show you how I do the glue without having to show my mess. One of the first things you got to know is that you never touch the tip of the hot glue gun to the glass. You kind of just float over it. And sometimes it stops. So I just pick up where I left off. My glue lines aren't as perfect as everyone seems to think they are, but I'll just let everybody think that. How about that? Once I'm done with the outline, I will lift it off the glass and use spray glue to attach it to the canvas. And here's the pretty macaw. All done. Get close up so you can see the crackle paste in the branches. Or the branch, rather. Added a little shading to the leaves. Voila! This piece is available so you can contact either Tanya or myself if you're interested in this piece. And catch Tanya Munt and Tracy Johnson in our October 1st show, Art Healing Hearts Auctions, right on Facebook. It's the Art Healing Hearts Auctions group. Look at some of the work that she has. I'm always impressed by the variety of her work and just how stunning each piece is so unique and um, beautiful. She's also offering a few of these bags and I would love to have some of these. Look at these bags. These are done with her alcohol inks. Um, and these are printed. Tracy Johnson, a jewelry artist, is also going to be showing her beautiful pieces. If you haven't seen Tracy's work, she has a very, very unique way of um, capturing the beauty of each individual stone. And I just love, look at that one. Oh, so yeah, October 1st on Facebook, Tanya Munt and Tracy Johnson, Art Healing Hearts Auctions. And then also don't forget live painting coming this fall. Uh, memberships uh, available on my channel, members only, Sunday Lives on YouTube. And um, I'm going to do other lives as well, but there's a lot of perks that you get for being a member, including exclusive content. Uh, members were the first ones to see the final results of the collaboration today, and that could be you. So. I'll see you soon when you become a member. If you are wondering how to do that, it's very simple. You just subscribe to the channel and then hit join.
there's a join button underneath each video it takes you to the membership page for as little as a cup of coffee you can have all these special um, perks you can become a VIP member or if you want a platinum inspired member and that's where you get one-on-one -on -one, uh, live one-on-one -on -one, uh, support and I can't wait to see you there. So as always, thanks for joining me. And I can't wait to make more art videos just for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.